guys how are you doing today i'm constance thank you for joining me in the next episode of my english class viewers and subscribers thank you very much for supporting this channel i noticed that some of my subscription numbers has gone down for what reason i don't know but i would like for you to, to help me figure this out all right i would really appreciate that because i don't believe ATI people just disappear from my channel just like that. However, we're going to be talking about money translation in this lesson. Money translation and money, the word money can be used in various, um, has many different names, right? Many different names. Some is professional, professionally or professionally used and some is street slang. And some you just don't have it at all. All right, so let's begin with this class. Our first, our first um, word for money is your bread. All right, some person says they're going out to make their daily bread. This is used in America a lot. Buck, I need a buck. All right, so buck is the next street slang for money. Cheddar cheese cheese is a nutritious substance so they consider the money to be the same so cheddar cheddar cheese and money is also called cheddar dough is the next popular use of the word money loot <laughs> okay i'm gonna get some loot all right this loot can also mean stealing to rob all right so loot is the next word for money. Mola or moolah. I think it's Nicki Minaj used this word a lot. Mula. Or she I think she used it in one of her songs. One of the sure the grandy girl that the grandy girl. So moolah. Paper is the next word, street word or slang for money. Samoleans or simoleons. Samoleans or simoleons. This is often used in Africa. All right, this is a street slang that is used mostly in Africa. Quid. <laughs> this is from England. All right, I'm going to look some quid for the day, which is quid is also a fish. All right, so quid. It's English and it, it comes, it derives from the Spanish word or the Latin word for it, or the Latin phrase quid pro quo. Quid pro, pro quo, which means something for something. Or you scratch my back, I scratch her. So something for, for something. So quid is what is used in England. Here are some professionally used words for money professionally used words for money cash hard cash when someone says hard cash that means it is readily available all right it's right in your hand ready cash same thing or money ready cash or slash money it's available it's right here in your hand all right or if you're going for a job they're gonna pay you ready cash you're not gonna get a check or they're not going to deposit it into your account. So ready cash or money. Capital is mostly used when you're doing business. All right. When capital is mostly used when you're doing business or investments. All right. So you put in the capital that whatever they consider the capital. That's the money they are talking about. I could give you a story about capital which is also means um the main part of a country or a city you say the capital of what say the capital of jamaica is kingston all right so it's it's spelled the same way finances is the next term professional term we use for money and the bank uses currency all right currency when the money is being translated from one currency to the next example they say one u.s dollars worth one 150 jamaican dollars or 200 bar made barbadian dollars something of that effect so the currency coinage coinage is what is made of the 
um, the copper or the metal form of the money. All right. So you say you have a quarter or you have ten dollars here. You have say ten or five dollars or twenty dollar coin or five dollar coin. So coinage. Filthy liqueur or filthy liqueur. All right. Filthy liqueur or liqueur. That is the next when you say the business, like you said, it's lucrative. That's where the word lucre comes from. Lucrative. So that means you're what? Making a good profit. It's, it's worth that business is worth doing because it's going to be what? Lucrative. You're making money. Like Digicel, it's a lucrative business. All right? A legal tender. Legal tender is what you use with. Um, with anything legal, all right, any money that is translated through a lawyer, whether it's for business or what you call that when you when you win a lawsuit or if you have a claims with the with the insurance company, you have a what a legal tenure. So the anonyms for money now. What are the anonyms for money? <laughs> anonyms for money. Bankrupt, <laughs> all right. Bankrupt means you had some money, but you have to do away with your property or the funds that you have in the bank. So you get bankrupt, so you don't have no more money to spend. Pauper, you're just poor, all right. Pauper, you don't have funds, you don't have an income coming in. No one, you have to be begging, or you're just poor, all right. Let's put it that. A beggar, a beggar and a pauper is almost the same thing because you have to be begging for money. And the have-nots, have I, I don't know, the have-nots, all right? So the have-nots is persons who do not have any money at all or they have very little money or a very low income. Like you said, the have-nots of society. Those are persons who do not have any income are unable to work or you know they have to be depending on social services to grant them some funds monthly monthly or every six months or something of that effect all right so these are some words you could use in your writing in your language if you are asked to present such in an examination in my back, can wait, to present such in a um, in your examination, they ask what is a different name for money. Uh, they could ask you to give it in the street term or in, in the professional term. Or they would say if you're using it, going to a bank and what is a next word you would use for finance. You could say cash or you could say money. All right. You could say finances, currency, all of this. Filthy, lucrative, lucrative capital. All of these are considered... The, the term or the terminology for money which is used in a professional term all right these are the three terms and these are the professional terms and the antonyms is when you don't have no money at all so this is the opposite of this all of this here is the opposite of both here and here that means you don't have no finance coming in so you're bankrupt you're a pauper, you're a beggar, you're a beggar, and you're have-nots of society. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed this class. I hope you have learned something from this class that will help you in your writing, in your communication, in putting your assignments together, especially when you're doing accounts, right? When you're doing accounts or writing store pertaining to, um, to finances or even status. All right, yes, that's what it's called, I think, status, right, when you're doing status report. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please hit the notification bell. So whenever I post a video, you will be the first to have it. My name is Constance. Oh, please check out my merch. Check the description box for my merch and for my books on Amazon.com. The link for my merch is in the description box below on also for my books on amazon.com you will see the link there and i post on facebook on twitter 
on YouTube, on VK, on Instagram. All right, so please check out. Please give your support. I would appreciate it. All right, guys. My name is once is Constance once again, and I look forward to you joining me in my next class. Until then, bye bye.